what's going on people we have a very special guest joining us today a man who needs no introduction a man who's played on the highest stage of college basketball we have second year pro and sorry scorches guard Connor Cashel we'll get into a range of different topics including his journey to division one and the pros a massive thank you to everyone who sent in their questions on Instagram We'll be answering all your questions. If you are new here, do make yourself at home by clicking that big red button and subscribing to the channel. Finally, if you are a high school player, coach or even a parent and want to know more about the process of becoming a collegiate athlete, be sure to check out our ebook under the radar. The link will be in the description below. Without further ado, let's get right into it and answer those questions you have. Uh, yeah, we're here with second year pro, Connor Cashel, currently playing for Surrey Scorchers. Uh, tell the people a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? I'm from, I have a very, very crazy history. So I was born in St. Louis, moved to Atlanta for eight years moved to Chicago for eight years and there I kind of grew up as a man, went to high school at Stevenson, um, Adelaide Stevenson, next went, to, well, next went to Rice University for three years, graduated there, great system, great program and great school. Then I spent my last year at Creighton University where I was a grad transfer and had loads of fun, learned a lot from Coach Mack and everything like that. Last year with the Sheffield Sharks with Coach Atiba, shout out to the Sharks family. And now I'm here with you and Coach Creon and the rest of Surrey Scorchers family. Hey, sounds like you've been everywhere. Uh, <laughs> Worldwide. For the people that don't know, you actually played with an NBA player at high school. Can you let the people know who that was? Yes, sir. It's one of my good friends, Jalen Brunson. He went to Villanova Uni University, was a two-time national champion. Um, player of the year, his junior year, now plays for the Dallas Mavericks. So, you know, playing with him in a, as, a, as a high school at a young age, learned a lot, man, what it takes to become a pro. Worked out with his dad a lot, who was a Chicago uh, Bulls assistant coach at the time. So I got to pick his mind, and he shed a lot of advice for me, what it takes not just to be a college athlete, but a professional athlete, and after that, too. That's dope. So you actually shared the backcourt with Jalen in high school? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I can only imagine what the scout was like for the other team, man, when they see <laughs> those two players there, man. Man, at some point, it's just like, t tell, uh, get the ball out of Jalen. He was that good, man, playing with a, with a McDonald's All-American NBA point guard. So, obviously, it was a blessing and, and shine some some great advice and things like that for me and the other players, too. Nah, that's dope. That's dope. You big time, man. Uh, so, we're going to ask you some quick fire questions just to get to know you a little bit more okay I'm gonna put you in the hot seat right now so we'll, we want to know who's your favorite NBA player uh favorite NBA player quick one I'll go CJ McCollum I always like this game kind of reminds me of myself love the mid-range can shoot it a little shifty um great defender underrated defender too for sure for sure I can see that in your game if you weren't a hooper what would you be doing I'd be acting, man. Denzel Washington on the big screens. <laughs> big screens, man, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> I, could feel no, I, uh, I love films. Um, I've been rating movies ever since, like, 2012. Yeah. Watched loads of them, things like that. So, film industry, obviously, I'd probably stay in sports realistically because I love it that much, too. So, You have any acting experience at all? Not at all. Just the Teachables channel. <laughs> Check that out. Okay, uh, pregame track, what are you listening to? Man, it depends. So I read this Kobe Bryant book. If I'm like, too excited, I'm going to listen to that slower beat, maybe that Justin Bieber, maybe that Giveon, maybe that Justin Bieber. And now it's Bieber or die. Anything that's not Bieber dies. Whoa, whoa. If, I'm too, if, I'm not, if I'm too calm, I'll listen to that, that Jersey Dre, The Future. Uh, 21 Savage. Turn on. Turn on. Turn on. Turn on. Turn on. Things like that. So I kind of just listen to my body and, t and, and give it what it needs. It's quite a contrast from Bieber to 21. No, it really is. Trust me. They need to get together in a track. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, That'd be fine. 
I don't know about that. Pre-game meal, <laughs> what are you munching on? Pre-game meal, always pasta. Always, always pasta. I like to load up with carbs, extra energy for me. Get through the fourth quarter. Always have that competitive advantage and, and physical advantage too. Okay, okay. And, you know, since you, you're an alumni of two schools, Blue Jays or Owls? It's like a mixture. I've been talking to No, 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 no. We, we, we don't need to hear the mix or the hybrid or anything like that. Is it Blue Jays or is it Owls? I can't answer, bro. I can't. I like it's, it's crazy, trust me, because the three years I was at Rice and the one year I was at Creighton, they both treat me like family. And, you know, it's hard for me to decide. If they play, if they play the game right now, I, I probably couldn't even watch. Okay. As you can see, Connor's a nice guy. He'll never downplay anything. So <laughs> <laughs> bear that in mind. That answer doesn't surprise me. Okay, so you've been in the UK two years now, right? If I'm if I'm not mistaken. This is your second year. Sure. Yes, now, sir. of course, we're in a pandemic, so you haven't really had a chance to experience much of, of Surrey or much of London, right? Mm -hmm. I wanna see if you're up to speed with some of the slang words. Now I know you did a video on UK slang versus US slang. Right. I, I feel we missed out some of those though. So I'm gonna oh, ask man. you some and yeah. we'll see how clued up you are. Leng, L-E-N-G. Leng, can I get it in a sentence? Sure. That girl was Leng. That girl is very tall. <laughs> that girl's tall. Great post moves. Okay, like one, two hook. Yes. Sky hook. Basket. Bully ball. Hakeem, dream shape. <laughs> okay, um, you were wrong. Leng is also similar to, you may have heard the word peng. 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 That's like good. I heard that from Teo and then. Evan. <laughs> oh, and Evan. Okay, yeah, I can expect Evan saying that. Uh, right? Peng means good, right? Peng means attractive. Okay. So if a girl is Leng, or if a girl calls you Leng, it's a compliment. All right, bet. Clapped. C-L-A-P-P-E-D. Clapped. If someone is clapped. Someone gets locked up, like... <laughs> it's shut down the office whoa I see you still in game mode right now you're still thinking about <laughs> <laughs> two back to back games we had this weekend it's not a basketball term if someone's clap I'm guessing they not laying then correct Let's go. but I wouldn't advise you to tell someone that Hi, I'm Philly. I'm 25. I'll be honest. Clap. <laughs> ah, 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 Jesus. Ah. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get a funny look, huh? You, you may get more than a funny look. Clapped. Unattractive human being. Okay. Hey, the teammates better watch out. I got all this new slang to come out of with. <laughs> Don't I'm watch out and practice. the corner, man. An op, O double P. Oh, you an op, like uh, you a foe, you enemy, you're not. Right, right. Opposition. Ch Chicago term. Oh, you use that in in uh, Charette? Yes, sir. Okay. How how uh, accurate is that term, Charette? Is it really like that? Certain parts, yes. I was blessed enough to be, I was about like 20 to 30 minutes outside the city. City's nice, man. The downtown area is really nice. Um, North Ave, got a beach, everything. But some parts, you step in some parts, maybe 79, things like that, it could get a little ugly. Anglewood, get a little ugly. Um, Are you about that action? No, sir. <laughs> Not about that life. Um, no hesitation. No shame, no shame, bro. I ain't about that life. They got it. You know what I mean? Bait. Bait? Bait. B A I T. In America, 
when you go fishing, you put a bait on the fishing rod. You definitely from 20 minutes out to sea, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so about fishing, <laughs> they like, they, like uh, they baiting you, like they egging you on type thing. That person is bait. Tall. In Surrey, you would be considered bait. Oh, like cute? I don't know. <laughs> well known. <laughs> well known. Oh, yeah. you think I'd be bait in Surrey? I'm just That's you. in Surrey. That's you. Surrey. Did you? Hey, the Surrey Scorch is a big part of Surrey. Big time thing. We paying, huh? Ah, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about all that. But yeah, we we uh we kind of big. Cool. Well, well like no. big time, like professional. Okay. Your boy <laughs> Ryan Richards, he's trying to be bait. Well he is uh, bait. Uh, he's he's bait in the UK. Viral. Viral TikTok, original geezer, all that. He's trying to go. Okay. That young boy. <laughs> that young boy, Cameron. My boy, Killer Cam. Yeah, hey, hey, young boo. He bait. He's bait. Yeah. Rightly so, though. That boy, a bucket. No, no, he tough. Hmm. Remember, tough. The, remember the name. Remember the name. Remember the name. Aired. A I R E D. A I. Like air and add E D on the end. Aired. Uh, send it, gotta get a sentence again. I just got aired. Just got dunked on. Oof. I see why you said that. Yeah, I aired like, a couple you people. Need to, you need to realize something. Um, <clears throat> the UK is not massive on basketball. <laughs> All right, got you. <laughs> a lot of these terms, you're using them on the court. Just all right, all right. Away from... I just got uh, I just got to cut it, maybe? Bruh. Okay. Fresh Let's cut. Say, uh, told, I told my girl I love her, and I got air. Rejected? Airtime. Oxygen. Nothing. No response. That's foul. Yeah. It's oh, very girl, foul. That's foul. That's, that's mad. Oh, uh, okay, okay. If you get left on red, you got aired. Blue tick light. Uh, uh, okay, it's making sense now. It's making sense left now. Left on scene, aired. Left on the liver scene, all that. Dang, okay. All of that. This should be easy for you. Oh, I got aired. So after that, I became vexed. Single. Bruh. Vexed? Vexed. Oh, like stressed out, maybe? Mad, 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 yeah. mad. Mandem. The mandem. The boys, the man. Yes, sir. Squad. The kingdom. No. 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 Not the the brothers. What do you mean? It's the boys, the squad. You, you were right. No one uses the kingdom. kingdom. That ain't it. Kingdom. Oh, okay, my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I was probably in, in Sheffield. Probably. That's my boy, though. Yeah, they taught me, uh, Nick Lewis taught me a lot of slant. Well, I tried to catch on. Try to Nick. He, he a bucket. Yeah, he's tough. Surti. That's what tough means, Surti? C-E-R-T-Y. What do you think it could be short for? Certified. Yeah, so if you're Surti, you're like, you the real deal. You're Surti. Yeah, like, if you ask, if you ask, like, where I got my backpack and you think it's fake, nah, that ain't Surti, bro. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't hit it. I'm not going to name names, but I see some, uh, a few expensive items in practice. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how legit. We, we're not going to name drop out here. That's not how we're we 30 out here, bro. Yeah, I ain't saying, man. 